long my hair is. I'm going to be doing this mohawk using barrel rolls. Now, I have lock knots already done in the front. If you know me, you know I love my bangs because I have a really big forehead. Okay, so if you want to know how I did the lock knots in the front, I have a separate video for that. It's really easy. Check that out. But you don't have to do um, bangs if you don't want to. That's just my thing. The way we're going to do this is I'm going to part my hair, I think in about four sections. I'm going to feel it out. Not really sure. And then I'm just going to put like a row of ponytails straight down the middle. So, start at the top. You see what it's doing? Okay. And the way I'm, I'm just going to tie that with my own hair. I mean, you can use hair bands or something, but... I don't really use those things and I don't think I have any either so that's how this is going to go. Okay so maybe not four, maybe three, maybe three sections. It's feeling like three. I'm not counting, I'm not really measuring, I'm just kind of feeling it. So this doesn't have to be perfect. I have three ponytails, one here, one here, and one here, okay? Because so I'm just going to make barrel rolls. There's 21 locks in this back ponytail. I can do three at seven each. So we're going to start. This is my first barrel roll. All I'm doing is taking one lock and wrapping it around the other locks. For those veterans out there who know what I'm doing, bear with me. Not everybody knows. And then once it starts to get short, you stick it there with the rest. You pick up another one and then you keep going. And that's it. Real basic. Grabbing some rubber bands. Now you don't have to do this, but there's actually a much better way of doing this, but I'm kind of lazy and don't want to take the time to do it. So I'm filling the end with a rubber band. Rubber band. Okay, you see that? That was how I got my little, that's how I got my barrel roll. Okay, I'm going to do a bunch of these all up and down here. Barrel rolls, barrel rolls. start and I look up and I'm like where has my life gone kids that graduated from college and everything So the end looks a little crazy, but you know, whatever. Okay, so I have these done and here comes the fun part. So I've never actually done this before and I'm going to play around with it and see what kind of works. Let's start from the back. on there's like no structure to this this is me just kind of like rolling and pinning rolling and pinning mm, wasn't exactly the plan but you know you have to be adaptable <laughs> all right so I was having trouble well still having trouble but I was having a lot of trouble pushing this pin through I realized it's because my hair was dry, like, not dry like rough, but dry like not wet. So, to ease the pin through, grab some of this. Oh, 
Karen's Body Beautiful Moisture Mist. This stuff is like awesome. So I just spray a little bit of that to make the pin go through easier. It's not exactly coming out the way I want it. All right, so this is the final, the final product. This is a super casual tutorial. Um, hopefully you learned from my struggle and maybe you want to try this. Maybe it'll be easier for you than it was for me. Maybe your hair is a little bit shorter. Oh, forgetting something. Whew. Had to touch up my lip gloss. Touched up my lip gloss and got me some earrings. It never really looks right without earrings on in my opinion, but I'm an earring girl. I love these. I got these from Two Light Creations at my last event. And they go with everything. So. Alright. There you have it. <sighs> okay. Well. That's it folks. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Be gentle. I know it was a rough video. But be nice to me. I'm only human. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye.